If you're looking for elegant, classy and chic outfit ideas for this summer 2021, then this Massimo Dutti haul and try on should help. I've got a rail full of beautiful clothes that I'm gonna share with you today. And I'm also gonna be styling each of these pieces in two different ways so there's lots of outfit ideas. I realized that it had been a while since I've done a Massimo Dutti haul on my YouTube channel, so I thought it was about time. Plus, after just one peek at the new spring summer collection, I was sold. They're new in range with all those lovely linens and cottons and a soft neutral palette was just my cup of tea. So I'm really hoping you're going to love these items as much as I do. Now you might have seen me making my spring capsule wardrobe recently and during that very messy process, I noticed a gap in my wardrobe for either a white pair of trousers or white jeans. The pair I had had shrunk over the years. Or maybe it was more the fact that I'd grown a little bit. Either way, they didn't fit anymore. So it was definitely time for me to find a new pair, albeit in a comfortable size up. Enter these cropped slim fit trousers, which I thought would make a really elegant alternative. They've been made from 100% cotton with just 2% of elastin to give them a little bit more stretch. Now I would describe these as mid-rise, which is probably my favorite waistband on trousers or jeans actually. I love super high-waisted jeans on other people, but I don't think it always works that well on me. So I'm sharing two different ways I would style these Massimo Dutti trousers for this spring summer. A decidedly and probably typical me, casual yet elevated everyday look, and then adding a tailored element with my classic oversized blazer. Both outfit ideas feel really elegant, but if I'm honest, I think I feel most comfortable and most like me with the addition of the blazer over the top. Now the fabric is not quite jeans, but not quite trouser either. It's somewhere in between, and once you feel it, you'll know what I'm talking about. In a really nice way, I have to say. And the fit is coming up a little bit big, but something, again, that I think is definitely a plus with this pair of trousers. They're not too tight, and they're not showing every little bit of cellulite that I've got, which I would say is definitely a bonus. So yes, pleasantly surprised with this pair of trousers. I actually didn't think they would look as nice on as I think they do, so definitely a winner. And I think I'll end up finding lots of different elegant outfit ideas for these as we go through summer. Next up to another pair of trousers, but this time a little more tailored. These have been made from a blend of linen and cotton, but I would say they feel more linen to the touch. I really like the shape of these trousers. They look slightly smarter than lots of alternatives I've seen recently, and yet still retaining that on-trend looser fit. The waistband is lovely too, actually, with that hook and eye fastening, giving the trousers a clean line across your tummy. So as you've seen, these trousers could easily work for the office or smarter occasions you need to be a little bit more dressed up for. I've gone for a kitten heel with this look, one for practicality as you don't want to be tottering around on six inch heels all day long, but also I think the shape and cut of these trousers lends itself best to a kitten heel. The second way I'd style these trousers would be something like this. Obviously a contrast to the outfit before, much more everyday elegant chic, but hopefully sharing just how versatile a great pair of trousers can be. These Massimo Dutti trousers would become something of a wardrobe staple for me. Obviously black is going to mix with the majority of my capsule wardrobe, but this type of smarter cut, yet being in this lovely lightweight blend of linen, is really timeless. So yes, another lovely alternative to finally get me out of my blue wash denim jeans. Now, I just want to quickly mention, you might have noticed that beautiful new handbag that I've just got in from a brand called Demelier London. They very kindly got in touch and asked if I would like to choose a handbag from their collection, which of course I said yes, because they're absolutely beautiful. So this beautiful little bag is called the Santa Monica and it comes in two different options. You can either go for it with the leather strap or you can go for one which has got a gold strap around it. And on top of that, it's got a long strap here so you can wear it crossbody or over your shoulder as well. I actually made a mistake and it was actually the gold chain one that I personally wanted to go for. But while I have this one here, I thought I would show you all so you can get a good gist of what the brand is like. The quality of the leather and the stitching is really beautiful. And the hardware is very subtle and elegant, so just the kind of thing I love. Like I mentioned, the shape and that ability to wear it over your wrist is very original. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
but also you've got the option of wearing it in the traditional manner of your shoulder or as a crossbody. It's quite hard to show you, but it's surprisingly big in there. It would definitely fit my purse, phone, and some makeup, everything I like to take around with me. I am, however, going to send this one back and switch it for the Santa Monica with the gold chain. If you have a look at their website, which I should put in the description box below, you'll see what I mean, because I don't really have a nice evening bag, and I thought that would tick that box perfectly. When I was browsing Massimo Dutti's website for this haul and try on, I kept adding this dress into my basket, taking it out and then going back and adding it in again. What I loved about it first off was this beautiful color of sand, but I was a little bit hesitant about the shape. Would it be something that I could only wear to the beach, maybe as a throw on on top of my bikini? But now seeing it in person and getting to feel the quality for myself, I'm really happy that I decided to have a go. Not only is this neutral shade incredibly elegant, but the quality of the linen they've used is just beautiful. There's a slightly silky feel to it, which is probably down to the viscose element, but that's also helping it to have a really nice drape too. So obviously one way to style it would be wearing it loose and floaty as you've seen in this footage. But I'm excited to show you this other way I'd style it as well and see what you all think. Just by adding a belt to subtly accentuate my waist a little, it's naturally gathered the fabric, which gives the dress a whole different kind of look. Now it's become more of a typical elegant shirt dress, a style I'm personally very fond of and something I know I'd wear a lot throughout spring summer. Those kimono sleeves are falling beautifully, but for me, the shining star of this piece has to be the tone that they've used and of course that fabric content. It's original, stylish and on trend of course with all those lovely linens we've been seeing this season. But above all and probably most importantly, it feels beautiful to wear. So definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I've been looking for a pair of white linen shorts for a while now, but I was taking my time because I really wanted to make sure I got the right weight of linen. Especially with a pair of shorts, as they're generally tighter against your skin than, say, a linen dress, so I didn't want to be showing anything underneath. So when I saw this pair of Bermuda shorts at Massimo Dutti, I thought they looked the perfect weight. Made from 100% European grown linen and with a slightly longer length to other styles that I've seen. Obviously you've got pockets there and a button at the waistband. So I'm sharing two different outfit ideas with these shorts in this haul and try on. First, as you've seen, my everyday casual look. Secondly, something a little bit different, but one that I think is equally elegant. I decided to try out if they were something that could be worn to the office or for meetings and added a blazer that I actually got last season from Massimo Dutti. It's a tonal look, obviously, but one that feels chic, elegant and classy, with a hint at the fashion trends this season without compromising on comfort. My perfect kind of style. Now I wasn't planning on adding yet another Breton stripe to my capsule wardrobe, but when I saw this one, I just couldn't resist. Now you might be thinking, why on earth do you need another Breton top, Jessica? They all look the same. But I can't stress enough, there are lots of little details about each of them that make them different, even if I do need to point them out. First of all, this one has been made from a blend of organic cotton, which is obviously really sustainable, and I like the feel of that against my skin. It's also nice to have a simple crew neck shape, which surprisingly I didn't have already. But my favorite part about this t-shirt is definitely the sleeves. I love the width, I love the oversized feel of them, and the fact that the hem is quite deep and will turn over. So a really classic and elegant way to style a Breton top would be with a pair of white jeans or white trousers like I have. I've added the blazer to give the look a little bit more polish, but as you can see, it's a really timeless, classy and chic outfit that you could reach for on an everyday basis. Alternatively, I actually really like it styled with the shorts. Maybe add a pair of flat espadrilles. I think that would work well. Sadly, I don't have any just yet, so you'll just have to imagine that look. Or for a third bonus look, I really like them styled with the linen blend trousers as well. Actually, I think that might be my favorite outfit idea out of the three. But do let me know your favorites in the comments section below. Thank you as always for all your support, all the likes, the comments, everyone who's subscribed and just generally being your lovely selves. I am always very grateful. And if you're new here, hello, hopefully you'll stick around and check out some of my other styling videos that I've put in the description box below. Big hugs everyone and I will see you next week.